to episode nine of PBS War of the Chosen. Um, so as you know, we're going straight into another mission. Happy days. So um, there's quite a lot of sit reps on it, as we saw last time. Like actually um, an insane amount of sit reps. So, um, but because this is pushing back barrier, I definitely want to go. So let's launch the mission. And we know air patrols is a thing. So wouldn't mind having uh, somebody with a defensive mine on duty, uh, which I'm sure we can arrange. So this is actually the same squad we took out last time. So we're going to take out a different squad. Again, we're going to keep the promotions rolling. We're going to keep keep the squad juiced. Um, so it's probably going to be... I'm 35 or 46. Not ideal. Still, me and Ross are still quite low. Um, like I say, available, but you know, at, at what cost? I think I want to take out Connor. I'm not going to lie. I want to take Connor. We're probably going to take Nick too. And Rob. So Connor's going. Nick's going. Rob's going for sure. Um, haven't been out for a little while. Now we're going to take some more experienced uh, comrades with them, I think. So we'll take we'll take Harbinger. Um, he's okay. Um, also got uh, Rich is 43 and Gary's 44. Chris definitely going. Um, He's kind of fully ready and available. We probably need a medic. So if I'm not quite at the races, might have to be Gary actually that goes again as a uh, field medic. Like I said, we've only got two. So we probably need another uh, at some point. Um, we have actually got a promotion here for Sneaky uh, when he's back off this covert action in two days. So two hours, in fact, not two days. So actually, hopefully there's a field medic there that uh, we can do. So we're going to send Gary as field medic. So we've got the med kit. We've got the grenades. Um, Nick, I think again we want to take a flashbang as the secondary grenade option uh, for Nick, which is nice. Uh, Connor's on the grenades. Um, Chris, grenades. I think everybody, yeah, I think we're good here. So we need to just. Um, there's high explosives, so that means there's stuff on the field um, that causes us some problems if we shoot it or shoot near it. So we just need to be aware of that. And um, the lost are known to be in this area. Um, so it says difficult, so we'll play it pretty carefully, but I think this uh, squad is okay to take out. Now, we might have some weapon attachment upgrades we can do. So basic scope. Yeah, definitely want to give some stuff to the hero classes. Um, Gary, have you got anything you could slot? Yeah, okay. 10% aim against the last target hit. Not bad. I think that was all of the ones we had. Yeah, that's all the ones we got. Again, I might at some point, probably off off uh, off recording, I'll go back and um, make sure everybody's got a well kitted gun uh, at some point. But we're pretty good here. We have flashbangs, we have grenades, we have medkits. So let's do it. Okay, begin mission. Let's go. Let's get it. Like I said, we're coming off the back of a very hot streak of missions at the minute. So, like I said, something something bad is around the corner. It just depends who, where, and when. Uh, and it is really a matter of time. Because um, one of these missions eventually will just punch a bit harder than uh, the others. So, have we the lost. Okay. The lost, the lost, the lost. I'm thinking now that I should have made some better decisions in uh, loadout, but we'll see how it goes. Could have taken some pistols on some people. Um, again, stay tight, stay together, we'll be fine. Right, that's good. We got a little bit of advanced vision there on uh, something in the room. Now remember, we've got plus three movement speed for the first three turns too. So that's good. Good high cover here. Again, with this, you've just got basically, it's got a, you can't see it yet, it's got a health bar. We just need to damage it n number of times to, to blow it up. And then after that, we can leave. But we've got nine turns to get there before the data transfer completes, basically. So Rob is our furthest forward. So let's roll. Do also need to remember that explosives will trigger lost. Um, hive swarms so we've got to be careful um right nick can get he can actually get up here in a double turn but he can't actually get in much further 
than that. So Nick, let's just go to take the back of this truck for now and we'll just see how we go. I'd like to set up some um, some nice, again, this is super nice up here. We can't get there, unfortunately. That's just really annoying. If they move away, we might be able to get up here. So again, we'll keep that kind of option open to us. So how would you, like I said, it's only a single turn move. So let's just get up here for now. Uh, Chris, wouldn't mind pushing Chris out some of the team out this way so Chris just go there for now uh, we've got Gary uh, that's lost okay that's okay lost is okay um, Gary just go here for now uh, and then I think it's Connor isn't it yes who the fuck is that guy right right second moves so this is what's important now probably for this we've got half cover here again full cover here uh, Gary then I think it's probably sensible that he takes full cover here for sure um, remember, they'll only spot us if they pick up a soft up on a flank so as long as we're in cover we'll stay stay hidden so actually probably kind of just actually does just, just go here for now um, Chris probably safer next to Gary potentially but let's just go here not too fast about the lost on that angle. I'm okay with that. All right, more lost that Chris has picked up. Right, Nick. Would it be terrible to have two people in here, to be honest? So there you go. Rob, I think at the minute, because this is the limit of our movement range anyway, we're just probably going to overwatch and Harbinger can get here without triggering anything. So take the full cover on that corner nice they are coming towards us right okay cool so we know the lost attack advent and vice versa so this is this is useful for us there's a harbinger in the background like what's going on here That's good. Come on, do some damage. Nice. Okay. So we are going to have to break our cover here. Um, regardless, we've got eight turns to get here. Like I said, this is actually so useful that this is actually showing these two. Um, so we've got a Lancer and a Trooper here. Again, not, not the end of the world. Um, Gary's probably... Uh, Gary got the best flanking shot. He's got an 85. Yeah, Gary's got the best. Uh, again, we want to avoid using grenades where possible. This is why bringing the grenades actually is not overly clever. Um, because we don't really want to use them. Um, Connor's also got a 70 and a 60. Um, I think maybe because of his position, in, he's in hard cover. Gary can just take this and we'll see what we get. Crit 6 is nice. Okay. So we need to remember with the lost 2, if we kill them, we get the, um, the, the movement back. So Chris could probably just finish this now. Good. Sectoid down. I mean, the easy thing to do here would be to just grenade this, but it will cause a lost swarm. So I've got a 67, but I can move people closer. So let's see what my mate Harbinger can do. Um, I can actually get him. On a flank. Again, the best flanking position is actually here. So Connor, what have we got in the locker in terms of movement? I can move him in the open too to finish this guy. The only thing is with these guys, I, I vaguely remember that the canister on their back explodes if you kill them. Um, so actually, I'm going to go here with Connor to get the loot, and he's in cover still. And he will have a flanking shot on this trooper anyway. But I'm pretty sure, and we'll use Connor McGregor to find out, that when you kill these... When you kill the uh, these boys, they explode. Um, so let's find out together. Yes, they do. Um, 
<laughs> my memory serves me well. Uh, okay, good. All right, the loud explosion draws a lost swarm closer. Now this now is stay fucking tight as a group. So I really don't want to go anywhere. And I also blew up all my cover, which is which is handy. Uh, right, Rob. Okay, this I'm liking. I've, I've got to want some Overwatch shots uh, for sure. 65 and a 62. Now these are four H, four and five HP. So these take a bit more to put down. So probably Overwatch shots is key here from Nick. Um, now because as well, the other thing with this, because these guys are melee, I can stand Nick in the open. I don't see any... We know there's these guys here, um, but they may they might trigger next turn. So it's probably sensible to have some cover for Nick. Again, I can get him here to what's Harbinger's movement like in terms of cover. Nothing really. This is a bit upsetting. Not even the building is. Uh, okay, that's okay. We're not sure what's out here really. I could move him a single turn and kind of find out. Don't, why are you going? Oh, I could have gone on the roof as well. Ah, he's got an 82 and a 70 uh, okay so that probably means now that Nick is going to come to here I'm on it. and we've got 60s I think we should I think with three overwatches here they come oh there's more okay I don't think they're going to get be able to, they're going to get close enough to get shots on us this turn, but it's just oh no, I want to over, I don't want to shoot them. I want to shoot the, the lost. Oh my god, he might shoot the lost first though. I said something bad was going to happen eventually, didn't I? Missing all these shots is not overly helpful. Come on, Nick. Yes, Nick. Here comes the swarm. Okay. Okay. got real real fast right eight turns now the thing with the eight turns is we have to just have enough turns to destroy this yep we're gonna move you i'm gonna move you right so chris both chris rob and connor took three damage so gary can heal them up that's okay obviously chris is in a fire um which is not ideal um Chris probably has to come back and we might have to read this adrenaline rush thing for Gary. There's potential that we can use it to heal two people in a turn. Um, the other thing is Lost are approaching and one is on Harbinger's dick right now. Um, again, I can get him out, so it's okay. Right, we've got some thinking to do. Now the Swarm, probably going to help me to a certain extent to just buy me some time to deal with this there's also one here i would need to kill so i would be kind of tempted to chris to get back here kill it gary can come back and heal him and then i'll pull connor and rob as well so i think chris come here just kill this guy for me right that brings back now chris's health actually is still okay connor's and robert robert and connor are both actually down to three hp so i can also actually because of the it refunded the action crystal has his move so let's get gary to prioritize healing rob because he you know prioritize team pbs so this adrenaline thing what does it do activate to gain an additional non-movement action that can be used even after dashing at the cost of 33% damage penalty for the remainder of the turn. Two turn cooldown. Okay, so Gary could 
dash all the way to Rob and heal him. A non-movement action. So, where are we going to put Rob that is sensible? I would need to do it. So Nick will probably move because then I could put Rob here, Gary here, and they would both be in cover. And I think he can heal in that radius, kind of. So Nick actually then is priority to help with this problem. Um, so we can get to the roof, and I assume he has a shot from the roof. So Nick, just go up here. I mean, he can also shoot that. That would trigger another horde, though. Um, so let's, because it will also refund the action. If Nick kills, it will refund the action. So well, I didn't kill, so it doesn't refund the action. So Harbinger now can just kill this, please. Right, but it refunds his action, so this is fine. He can go here, uh, and he'll be okay. So Nick actually is okay. He's in cover. That's fine. So Rob, I think what we said was, I wouldn't mind getting Rob somewhere where he can be healed in in one turn. So here would be okay, so we'd need to move Mr. McGregor. Um, so he, McGregor can actually go here. Uh, were there any lost this way? Not really. Again, we don't really want, we don't really want to be moving up against the lost. Up is bad, but we're, we're just gonna wrap this corner. He has a 50 on this, so he could still take that shot. That's okay, so Rob, uh, I think, here. No problem, boss. Gary, we're gonna see how this, we're gonna test how this works. So Gary, gonna activate Adrenaline Rush. So, actually that means go here. here. Medkit heal, Rob. Don't move. Be all right. I assume Gary still will have a move. It worked exactly as intended. Uh, need to remember that if we kill... I actually don't want to kill that because it's going to probably draw his attention. So in this case of now safely, Gary, probably we just go here to first. Just tuck him into full cover. Oh, there is a loss. There's a loss there. So Connor, I'm now concerned that this guy here is going to wrap the corner and kill you. Um, <laughs> interestingly enough, I would do like some damage on this though. Nice. Armor still holding. Rob can also do it. Come on. Ah, come on, Rob. Got to hit those. Right, Harbinger. Probably here and O. Actually, I'm gonna have to reload him. Right, Chris, get back in the fight to an extent here. All right, let's see what happens. Why? Why would you shoot us? Oh, he's suppressing. Okay, these guys are gonna fight the lost, hundred percent. Yeah. So he gets. So they they also get the free action too. So it's worth. Oh, but this, they, why didn't he shoot the one with two two HP? More lost coming in. Some of these guys have got quite a lot of health. I am also that if they group up around one of these explosive barrels, that sometimes it's just a case of yeah, I'm gonna shoot it. Um, well, here they all come. Two damage. Reinforcements. It's not looking good. Nick's got a mine, but he's up here. Nick's actually got a really good position. I'm gonna have, I need to pull back. Six turns, so we've got time, but I need to get to a def <laughs> defensible position, uh, of which this is not. This is not defensible. Um, the only thing is this guy is suppressing us, so. Gary needs to to leave. Gary can get all the way over to the roof. I would love to reposition around this building, to be honest. That's what I would like to do. Um, 
how doable that's going to be is another matter. But Gary's going to go for it anyway. Right. Connor is suppressed, which means we might be sacrificing um, <laughs> Mr. McGregor here. Uh, Rob could also get up top. I need to deal with this though. Nick will have a shot and Harbinger will have a shot. So that I'm okay with. Um, Rob, I'd like to have more turns next time. Also blocking. So these guys can't get up high. It's also worth noting that they can't climb ladders. So um, it's actually kind of sensible to do this. I think we'll leave Connor for the last turn. Nick, so I'd like you to shoot this guy. Only three. Um... Harbinger, and you like you to do this. Should kill, it's guaranteed. So what I'm going to do with you, sir, is again, because I just don't want this guy to fire a load of angry thing towards me. So Harbinger, I'm actually going to. I don't think. I don't think I need to grapple yet. I could do this here and then grapple back up. I mean, those grapples are in range. I reckon I could get this loot and grapple out. If not, I've still got a second turn, so it's not like the end of the world. Let's grab the loot. A reflex sight, okay. And we grapple. I can also, I can still grapple out here. I want to grapple up there. I want to grapple here. And then just wrap this. Right. Oh, we've still got Chris too. Okay. Chris has got run and gun. I can run and gun here and maybe kill the the thing. It would leave him very vulnerable to these two friendly chaps. Um, so Chris cannot get up top, but he can get into the building. What can he get to inside? Okay, he can get to full cover inside. Just we're regrouping. We are regrouping. Connor. Now he's got a 24 here because he's being suppressed. He could kind of go out swinging. It would mean his, his instant death because he wouldn't be able to move after doing this. I think so therefore I think the priority is to try and save him. Let's break this. If we don't break the overwatch he's dead anyway. Which makes me think that he should just throw the grenade. If there's a chance to get him out we'll take it. Missed. Right. Okay. Connor now is savable. Um, so I can just go here with him. All right. The reinforcements come too. Remember, the, the, the lost are going to help us. And if I need to just get out, I will. Ooh. There's a new one. This could be a mission where we have to just sort of suck it up and leave it's a, pos it's a possibility that it's just too hard um, and at the moment it's seeming oh no they've got one as well we've got a like B-Tech Harbinger let's pull him back why are you grenading them why would you do that another swarm is going to draw now Please don't grenade us on the roof. Alright, suppressing. Fair enough. Alright. Double suppression is not fun. Okay. I wouldn't mind the uh, the lost actually uh, you know helping me out a little bit here. Why don't you attack some advent people then, lads, yeah? Rather than just me. He's managed to get in by Chris. He missed. God, he got, I bet he, ooh. He's exposed him, though. This is a kill, surely. Yep, cool. As there's a swarm coming already, I don't think you can get two swarms. I don't think that's a possible thing. 
so we're both being suppressed here. I'm tempted just to pop a grenade on this with Conor McGregor, uh, to be quite honest, because uh, he can hit. Not all, but he can hit ones that he'll get kills on. So that's an option. Um, you need to remember, any kills on uh, lost refund actions. So, Nick. 80. 36. It's a shame it's 36, because it looks like a flank. If we can kill the two mechs this turn, I'll be in a happy place. I could also do something more interesting with Nick, probably. Yeah. I'll get one of the suppressions off. Then Chris has to, unfortunately, probably sword kill this um, to ensure that it dies, because just because of its 4 HP. Um, I think, let's do this. Come on. Can we wipe this whole posse? This is feeling like a mission where we leave more and more by the second. Um, these guys are all still up. None of them died. That's really unfortunate. So Connor's probably going to have to try and just sweep them a bit. Uh, what's more important? Probably more important that the guy with, with the guy with two health dies. We just need to also we just need to create some distance. Right now, this guy's got one HP. So Harbinger, I'm hoping, could kill him and get the action refunded basically that's the plan nice action refunded cool okay so this is now a 90 percent shot on this guy then i'd have to reload him good takes the suppression off him gives us the option harbinger then is going to have to reload here ready for next turn okay chris chris does have the flank on this guy. I think I'm going to need him to sword slash this because it's guaranteed kill. Yeah. Uh, Chris, for some reason, has decided to go in the open there. Not helpful. Right. Lads up top. Okay. Gary and Rob. So, Gary, I would like to. That's a 90 and a 96. Rob has an 88 and an 82. Gary, I think it's sensible to take the flank shot as a 90. If we get a 3 to 5, so we potentially get the kill here. Right. Come on, that's good. Um, Rob then pump as much damage into this thing as you physically can. Killed it. Right. Okay. Sustained fire. Um, Rob, this is because of his thing, isn't it? Uh, taking a direct shot will not end the turn, but any remaining action points will only be limited to only Overwatch. Oh, that's that's big. Because I can. He's only got one ammo. Um, I could reload him though, and not over. I don't think I need to Overwatch. There's nothing close to me. So let's reload Rob. Let's take the opportunity to get the reload in. Right. Okay. Stabilized the game a little bit. still a lot of these idiots to deal with though I really need to not explode anything else if I'm completely honest <laughs> that would be bad Connor not like this okay so Harbinger now is in some reasonable bar. Four turns. We can shoot through windows though. So I probably need to get as many of these things put away. The only problem is there's a three damage and a four damage. Harbinger deals three, two, four. So Harbinger can probably definitely kills this one and gets it refunded because it's three to four and a hundred percent. So let's just do the easy stuff. Right. And it's refunded three to four. Now he also can can kill this three to four it's gonna just sort of dice roll okay and he can also can also three to four kill this 
Right, only three. Fine, 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 fine. So now I have to reload him. So that's fine. Right, Chris. 62. I kind of need you. I wouldn't mind healing Chris. One, two, three, four, four. I wouldn't mind healing him, you know. I can get him to the roof. Gary can heal him. Let's just play this fairly safe for the minute. I don't want to die. anyone to die. Um, Gary, I can use Adrenaline Rush again, which means we get the reduction in... Um, so Gary's actually... Let's not play it just yet. Because Gary's got some shots. So... Connor. 81%. He, he has to reload, but I'll get another action. Now, I'd like to move him away from danger, so we're going to hold this We'll hold this turn on Mr. McGregor. Nick, what have we got? 81s, 81s. So this is, would if this hits, this kills. So let's, yeah, let's use our last ammo on the most sensible shot. He's got armor. Are you kidding? He's actually got armor. Fucking hell. Um, okay. Has Nick got any points left? No, he hasn't. Right. And we're going to pop Rob. Has 76. So I'm probably going to move Rob across one. I'm just trying to get a better, slightly better angle. 82. Again. If it hits, it's a dice roll. Okay. Action refunded. If it, if it hits, it's a kill. Okay, now Rob. Uh, what does that mean? Why? Why would you explode? Fucking hell, man. These things just don't stop. Um, Rob, do you know what? Because of the action refunding, I'm going to reload him just because he needs to be fully juiced. Um, Gary... Medkit heal, Chris. Get back in there. Let's get everybody at full juice. Um, Gary also has another action. So, tempted. Uh, like I said, the Lost can't get up here. So the only person who's kind of fucked is McGregor. So, Gary, let's wrap this corner. I've got four turns for data transfer. I need to start moving at some point. But do you know what? If you, the thing with this is you can cheat. So if you stand and block, if you block the where they can get up, like here. So Nick has stood over this drain, so they can't actually get up. They could get up here and run all the way around, but it's a long way to go. Um, but Connor actually can't get anywhere airborne. Um, I say airborne or up top anywhere, which is unfortunate. They're quite far away. Um, but, you know, none of these positions are ideal. Probably this is the best I can get him. To tuck him in here for now um, and we'll just see what happens next oh this guy's still alive isn't he stop setting things fucking on fire <laughs> good job we did pull him back he'd have died oh they can jump up Have they? oh maybe they fixed that glitch Okay, you used to be able to stand on ladders to stop them coming up. Uh, maybe they fixed that. You both... Are you serious? Are you serious right now? You're both missed. Right. Okay. Nick has to reload. So let's... I mean, we have no choice but to do that. Now, these guys here. One with three. And one with... So I want to shoot the one with three... 3 HP, not 4 HP. Because 3 HP, as long as it hits, is a guaranteed kill and it will refund. Okay. Cool. Anyone else that Nick can shoot that's a... Right, that goes 2 HP. So again, if we hit, we refund. Good. So Nick, I probably will give him this shot up top here now. This 87. Massive. Now... If we had Den Mother for this mission, 
would be disgusting. So Nick can keep kind of snowballing here. Again, that's a, that's a dice roll because it's three to five. Uh, any non-dice roll shots. That's five HP, two HP, but I can get Harbinger and Co. to do that. And seven HP. So I think we'll dice roll this. All right. Nick is like fucking gone into god mode. Uh, reload, so he's ready for another fight next turn. Right, Rob, we're probably going to start pushing now. This is the point where we'll push um, three turns to data transfer. I'll probably push with the two lads at the bottom first. So Connor, three... I, I can, he can kill that for sure. He'll probably only get damage into that. The lads up top can one-shot the fives. Um, so how many fives have we got? I'm not sure how much... I think that's maybe glitched. Yeah, potentially. I do think there are more of them, though. We also know we've got Fireboy over here. You're, you're a choir boy compared to me. Um, so I'm going to go with McGregor here. And we'll take out this two. Oh my god, there's probably more of them than I thought. I don't... 68 from this distance? For real? Yeah, I did get it. Right, so we'll pump some damage into this with Connor now. So we'll just try and get some damage into this guy. Four is good. Four is good. Um, so, Harbinger. Again, with these guys, we don't need cover. We just need to think about the distance they're going to cover to get to us. And also where we'll be able to land the shots from. So, Harbinger here wouldn't be terrible. Because then he'd have a shot here and shots downrange. Um, he's already got a 96 from up here. So, to be honest, I'll take it before I move. Okay. Um, I've also got grapple. I need to remember. Uh, I have range to get up here. That would be nice. Okay, so we can't grapple. So what we're going to do is this cover's not not incredible. I think let's go here and we'll see what shot we have. If it's a bad, I might also be able to grapple from here in fairness. So can grapple up to this building and I can grapple up to here. So I think we grapple him and then let's see what we can do. Come on, let's go. We need to push now. Three turns. And I've got to destroy it in three turns too. So I need to not be shooting these knobs. Um, so I, with that in mind, I would like to use Harbinger as the one who's probably... I'll overwatch him because when these guys push through, he'll get an overwatch shot. Let's overwatch him up there. I can't throw any more grenades. I just cannot. Now, what we could do, we bring the boys down into the open now. Um, I'd love... I prefer cover. I'm conscious that this guy is, is here, the flamethrower dude, but he's kind of got his hands full. Um, I've probably got this turn to clean as much as possible and then finish this. So, Connor's got no moves. Chris... Chris probably, again, I might have to double run Chris at some point so I've got I've only got two people who can really do things here so I think Rob this is okay I can that. it's in the open but I just need shots really nothing more these are only 60s on these guys back here it may be better to go for overwatch shots um, Gary probably here Stay tight. What have you got? No shots. Um, Chris is going to... Because I need to get in position for the next few turns. Um, if I run and gun Chris... To... To here. It will give me a shot just to get some damage into them. And it might then just help Rob finish someone off and get a free hit on someone else. So, Chris is... Yeah, cool. It's not that... Okay, Look, that's two shots. Two shots and it's dead. Um, Chris is 70. Four to five. Large. One more shot. 68 and a 68. Four to five again. Come on, mate. Come on, please. Chris, come on, let's go. Um, he has, to, he has to reload. He's got a lot of health though. Um, 
I'm now to also te now I'm tempted to get aggressive with carry now. Uh, right, Rob's got a 62. I think if it hits, it's a kill. So, right. uh, Rob, that's that's large, proper large. Right, Rob, I think I'm going to Overwatch, and Gary, I'm going to Overwatch. Probably the hardest mission so far, genuinely. Harvey. Yes, but that's going to be another swarm. God, why? Okay. Okay. Right. Chris kills this and gets his action point refunded. I have to. It's really, really crucial that I get the damage on this. So I think Harbinger has probably got the best sort of position. It's only got one shot. That would leave him vulnerable. Now this, I think, is 100% when you're in range. Again, I'm not too sure. I just think these three cannot cannot get... It's probably Chris and Harbinger that have to do this. I have got two turns, though. So I can position around a bit around what happens next. Gary could also hear like Conor McGregor. Okay, Gary, use Adrenaline Rush. Heal Conor McGregor. It's a sentence I never thought I'd say. Um, good job. Right, you can still double move, so I'm prepping you for the next turns. Because of adre adrenaline rush is, is like I say, it gives you the like aim penalty that turn. But if you're not shooting, it's just like it's kind of free real estate. So Conor, that's as far as you can go. In a sensible, can you see it to shoot? He can. I am worried about shooting through a car, however. So, <laughs> um, uh, Harbinger's probably going to be. Has he got vision of it from up here? Probably not. No, he's going to need to come down. Um, he will from here. So just go here, uh, and then we need to call it. We need to call extract two. We could also look to call extract this turn too, so that it's down and ready. So let's go. I think this has a 100% chance to hit. I don't think you can miss. No, I don't think you can. Okay, so Chris could then go here. On the move. Right. That's the mission achieved. Connor, call it. So we need to neutralize all enemy targets, apparently. Now, I've called evac here because this is our fallback position. We can still fight, but this is our fallback position. Also, I'll be honest, I don't really want to be behind a car. Okay. This is just an accident waiting to happen. So we're going to push to a, a position there. Right, Nick is going to come down here. Uh, probably overwatch. Safety first here, Rob. Um... So I don't want to be behind one. Rob's actually got full cover here. So I don't want to move too far past it. Can we also get Rob in the building? Yeah, I'd kind of like this position for Rob. Uh, I was going to say, I don't actually... I was almost moved Rob into the into here so he probably would have died um okay so again not a fight we have to take we can just all swoop in here and happy days so rob can probably sensibly wrap this corner yeah he can but he has got a flank on this guy already harbinger i've also got justice as an option um, Chris and Connor also in the fight so Connor can get to full cover here which is a position that I'm kind of liking Gary is out of position but Gary again potentially can can do things so Connor probably here only 15 39 and 12 okay so that's we'll call him secondary option Rob 
Okay, that's a wall. I was going to say, can we? We know this guy's going to explode too. Um, I feel more comfortable with Rob here. I'm going. And he's going to have a shot down the line. He's got a 56 and a 38. Okay, so we're just trying to tee up shots at the minute. Nick, full cover here. I'm not sure what shots he'll have, to be quite honest. Um, can also flashbang them. I think maybe Nick, it sounds a bit weird, but here, I could. I think we'd have shots from here. I'm not sure about here, but I'm going to flashbang them anyway. Okay, he would have trooper. What would his flashbang achieve? It would literally hit all of them. I don't think it disorientated this guy in the back actually. Um, so, Harbinger. We can, there is a world where we get aggressive. Ah, he has to reload. Okay, so I, I, no choice but to reload him. Um, Justice, 69. Okay, that's an option to pull him in. He is in cover, so it's like okay. we're in half cover, so it's okay. Uh, Chris is run and gun off cooldown. No. So again, Chris has kind of a bit of a problem in dealing with this, as does Gary. And now I don't want to move too far. Gary would probably have a really nice flank on the sectoid from here. I have to say, probably a pretty good sectoid flank from this position. So let's take it. Yeah, 75. That's the best shot we've managed to kind of conjure up so far, so... Crit for five is good. Okie doke. Connor, 39.15. Ooh, combat protocol. How much HP has this got? Two. Let's go. Beautiful. Right, Rob, 38. I think Harbinger is the ripjack on this the justice 69 yeah we got nice and then chris is purely going to go somewhere for again crouching down by an explosive barrel probably not the play so chris do you know what we're going to I just if this guy comes through this way um, which he could it would be a problem so Chris I'm actually going to tuck you in here go, go, go. and we'll see what happens next Rob Scott probably my only overwatch option here so overwatch. come on Rob you got it you haven't got it Rob Connor's extracting. Um, so Connor is leaving this turn. Go, go, go. So he's leaving. That's cool. So we don't need to. We don't need to heal the burning because it's not going to. We are going to end this turn um, by hook or by crook. Um, probably means it's down to. Gary, who would have to reload, but can still leave. Gary can just leave. Um, Harbinger. Can we can? Now we know he's going to explode. What are our grapple options? I can grapple him. That I just want to do it so it's safe into the point where, like, when he explodes. Um, <laughs> You know we're good um so that would probably give me the flank let's go probably gives me a guaranteed kill on him and keeps me safe from any uh would-be explosions only three i knew that that was going to happen oh um because of zero in he gets um 
Another go. And it increases every time he gets a second shot, doesn't he? Yeah. I didn't explode. Maybe it's just a chance that they can explode them, potentially. Oh, I tell you what, to get out of that with how bad it looked for a minute. Um, apparently Conor McGregor was MVP. <laughs> Seven kills, 30 damage, didn't miss a shot. Respect. Nick, six kills. Felt like Nick got a lot more than six, to be honest, but 100% shot accuracy, really good. Rob, four kills. Um, Harbinger, nine kills. He must have been very close to MVP. Um, Chris, six kills. Um, and Gary, look at this picture here, Gary. Look at this. Uh, only two kills, but um, some actual clutch re um, kind of uh, heals and reses and stuff in there from, from the field medic. So that's probably the hardest mission we've done. And we absolutely bossed it, to be quite honest with you. Um, don't know what other word to do with which to describe it. What a mission. Um, okay, let's get the promotions done. And then, again, it's been quite a long episode, so we'll uh, save any admin for the start of the next one. But let's get these promotions in. Well, I mean, led by uh, Conor McGregor, they uh, do their thing. So Nick gets Corporal. I like Entrenched. Um, chance per tile moved to convert any standard hits received to grazes so that's if he was moving aggressively Give him, I think let's do this we haven't given anyone skirmisher yet and I think you know Nick proved himself a bit of a skirmisher in the last one Connor is gravely wounded he'll be gone for quite some time low profile so it's really aloe plating or low profile I really like low profile regenerating armor though is also strong so we'll give him that um Rob uh, gets the Corporal 2. We've got Covering Fire, Flush Him Out, or Danger Zone. Um, I know I've given Covering Fire to... Yeah, two people. Let's give Rob Danger Zone, then. Let's, let's give him something different. Uh, let's say something different to play with on the battlefield. Harbinger gets to Lieutenant, our first Lieutenant. And deserved, I might say. Um, so, Whiplash. Attack an enemy with an electrical lash. This attack does not cost an action. Full throttle, gain two mobility with every kill. Okay. Lightning reflexes. Each turn, the first reaction shot against you misses. So it's a guaranteed Overwatch break. I mean, we can't not have a whip, right? Come on. Let's go. Um, good job, everyone. Um, some bonds here. Nick, Nick and Harbinger are... Uh, uh, there's also a create bond with Gary too, 9.5. I think we do that. So Nick and Gary are going to be bonded together. Beautiful. Would I like to... No, I wouldn't. Um, so, <laughs> so they're now bonded together, which is cool. Um, we've got a lot from that. A lot of corpses. <laughs> and some uh, weapon sites and stuff too. Uh, also enough mechs now to do the... Um, also a purifier autopsy. That's the flamethrower guys. And lost autopsy. We're getting... You know, it's starting to snowball nicely now. So, right. We're also meeting the Reapers in 14 hours, which is a new, um, like I say, new faction we're going to um, meet for the first time. We'll get the hero class for that too, which we can start playing around with on the next mission. But we're on a bit of a roll, I have to say. We're tackling some pretty difficult stuff and we're coming up, coming out, smelling the roses. So uh, thanks again for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.